Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Deputy Secretary General, ladies, gentlemen, I am delighted to have the opportunity to come to Strasbourg to discuss and present some examples of how we are working in Bergen to manage ethnic diversity in a positive way. Some of you know Bergen well, and some uh, of you don't, do not. I would therefore like to start by presenting our city with some short facts. Bergen lies on the west coast of Norway in Hordaland County. The city of Bergen is rich in history, culture, and the tourism sector. Additionally, our region has several world-leading business clusters within the marine industry, the maritime, and the energy sector. We are also proud that Bergen is regarded as one of the seafood capitals of the world. Approximately 270,000 people live in Bergen. The Bergeners are known to be very proud of our city and regard ourselves as open and diverse. We have migrants from over 160 countries residing in our city, counting for about 18% of the population. <coughs> the wealth of this city, like so many other cities, has been built by people migrating to the city from abroad and establishing new trade links. Even today, many of the most established merchant families in Bergen have Dutch and German family names from the Hanseatic time. We hope that the migrants coming to Bergen these days also will contribute to develop the city further. So why am I saying this? I'm saying, telling you this because I think it is uh, one of the main things that we are doing, that we are telling a story, that we are open and inclusive, and that is part of our history. The ethnic diversity in Bergen has increased a lot since the 1990s, mainly as a result of a positive economic development in our city and a need for more labor force. The city of Bergen has ambitions to make better use of the advantage of having an increasingly, increasingly diversified population. We believe it is a comparative uh, advantage for Bergen having a multilingual, multicultural population with strong links to a wide range of countries. Being an inclusive city also means that the council has a special responsibility in making the municipal services accessible to everyone. Our aim is that everybody living in Bergen has a sense of belonging to an inclusive city community. In Bergen, we use term, terms inclusion and diversity, not integration. This change of terminology has been made in order to emphasize that there are different ways to be a citizen of Bergen and Norway. The term integration is often referred to, to as the process newly arrived immigrants have to go through in order to function in the workplace and society. To be fully integrated is the end result of this process. An official Norwegian term is defined as how newly arrived immigrants as fast as possible can participate actively in working life and in society as a whole. In everyday Norwegian, the term integration can be regarded as synonymous to assimil assimilation. How well integrated you are becomes a measure of how Norwegian you are. By using the term inclusion, we would like to emphasize that in order to benefit from the advantages of the diversity, all parties need to be willing to develop and undergo a transformation, including local authorities. Being member of the Intercultural Cities Network make an important contribution to Bergen's effort to become a more inclusive city. This capacity building program support, supports us in developing, implementing, and evaluating local diversity and inclusion strategies and give us a network of cities we can contact to exchange experiences and discuss common challenges. We find it very positive that the European Council has taken the initiative to establish this useful network and developing it further in close contact with the cities listening to their needs. 
In the following, I would like to highlight three key policies areas that are important for the city governments in Bergen when it comes to the inclusion of migrants and are Bergen's examples of best practice. The first area I would like to mention has to do with the long-term inclusion of refugees and our focus on, en on enabling them to participate in the work market. The large number of refugees arriving in Europe in 2015 has resulted in need to, a, to a resettle more refugees than ever before in Bergen. Like many other cities in Europe, the city of Bergen regarded it, uh, it as an important humanitarian responsibility and a privilege to welcome people in need of protection. We regard refugees as normal people living in extraordinary circumstances. We therefore want the refugees that are being resettled in Bergen to be able to start their new lives in the city as soon as possible. Shortly after arrival in Bergen, they are being enrolled into a two-year introduction program where they learn Norwegian and take courses to qualify in the work market on further education. There are now around 900 participants in this program in Bergen, and this group is diverse both in terms of country, of origin, and their education and work backgrounds. Some of them are highly skilled professionals that can find work in Norway after a fairly short period of time. But many of the refugees come from the most troubled countries in the world and have not yet had opportunity to have an education or relevant work experience. The introduction program offers the refugees an individually tailored program in close cooperation with the participant. The goal is that a high percentage of the participants in the program will be enabled to provide for themselves and their families at the end of the program. Results show that the end of the two-year program, between 40 and 50 percent are being employed or enter the regular education system. We acknowledge that uh, many of the refugees need more time to be able to compete in the Norwegian work market. Residents in Bergen without a good command of Norwegian are entitled to translation services. When a staff member uh, in the city does not have a common language with the uh, client, an interpreter should be used. The municipal translation service in Bergen has more than 20 years of experience and offers translation in more than 50 languages. This service is of crucial importance to the ability of the city to offer equal public services to everybody. Finally, I would like to underline the importance of cities when it comes to developing policies of managing diversity and securing peaceful coexistence in our communities. We, the cities, have a good understanding of how, how we make diversity work mm. and how to invest in our communities to secure a sustainable, cohesive society. It is important that decision makers on a national and international level listen to our experiences on securing a peaceful coexistence in our communities. In Bergen and, uh, and other European countries, a large number of asylum seekers, refugees and other mig migrants are living for years without access to language training services and do not even have the right to work. As residents in our city, we meet this vulnerable group in our streets and services. Competencies on policies on immigration and the rights and responsibilities of migrants is a matter for the national political level, but has a significant impact on the lives of residents in our cities. Of course, I acknowledge the complexities of migration and, in and inclusion policies, but I would like to emphasize that we have valuable knowledge and experience in making diversity work. Therefore, I once again would like to express my gratitude for the op opportunity to come here today and present this for all of you. A special thanks to the Council of Europe and the sponsors of today's event. So thank you for your attention.